Hey guys, it's the 1st of May, out hunting some mushrooms in the eastern Cascades of Oregon. So we're in the rain shadow here, you can see it's a lot drier than the spots we like. But this is where the morels are in the Spring Kings a bit later. Uh, and it's still very early in the season, we've had a very slow spring here in Oregon, it's been quite cold. And so we're just finding some of the very first of the morels, and there's one right here. Let's see if you guys can spot it. And there's actually a bunch more coming up here that are really small. So you have one. There's one. So there's a really nice grand fur over there. Uh, quite a large size, and there's another one to its left, a little bit behind. And that's the size that I would really target for spring ping bolites. But that's still later in the season. So you can see that. It does have a little bit of taper when it gets to that old age, but generally it's quite cylindrical on the trunk. And the canopy itself is also very cylindrical and even. It only tapers at the very top. Like that one on the left. You can see when it gets really old, it does start to lose some of its lower branches as far as the foliage goes, but the branches themselves stick around for quite a while and start to bend downwards. I'm guessing because of the snow or something. Yeah, and AB's grandest, the Grand Firm. So I just walked to this large Grand Firm here. 
again you can see that kind of characteristic feature where the branches point up or almost you know horizontal unlike a Douglas fir which are kind of droopy so we have this really nice old one here and another one there and sure enough right between them we have some small and young black morels let's see there was a second one over here somewhere oh here it is So yeah, definitely still quite early in the season. Don't really see any more here. But uh, basically this is how I hunt them out here in the mountains. You look around, find the largest fur you can see. So again, true fur, not Douglas fur. And you go to it and you, when you get close, you really start to slow down and look more carefully. If you have two really nice ones, that's better than one. If you have old ones, that's better than young ones. If you have a grove of old ones, then, you know, chances are you'll find them. In fact, kind of when the season really gets going here, a lot of times you'll find them at least some morales or maybe a sign of morales. You might have missed them or somebody got them first. With pretty much every dominant fur in the area. Wait, is that one there? Yeah. So yeah, early on in the season, you want to kind of check more open spots. We're close to uh, close to a road here, so that kind of creates a little bit of microclimate. Uh, south facing slopes obviously are gonna do great um, so yeah just look around and they do love these uh, chinkapin bushes especially later in the season they like to hide out uh, kind of in the middle uh, I don't know what it is maybe they trap moisture better in there or something all right guys so uh, definitely early in the season uh, we're a bit early here so here's just a couple more that we found. So yeah, all the signs are basically pointing that we need to wait a couple weeks. You saw those uh, gyromitra that we found. Those are commonly referred to as snow morels, or well, I mean, they're a false morel really. And um, yeah, those usually come before the true morels like you see here. So, you know, we've been checking kind of really open sunny spots like this near the road, southern uh, facing slopes, just any bit of uh, microclimate help that we can get. And uh, those giant mitra, by the way, in some countries like in Europe and Scandinavia, they're considered just as good or even better than the morels. And uh, the only thing with those is that you definitely have to parboil them. They have a good bit of hydrazine and other stuff that builds up in your liver if you eat it over a long period of time. And that can cause issues. And morels you definitely need to cook. Um, some uh, kind of folk traditions say that you should eat them with dairy. And something in that helps to make it more palatable. Some people just have allergic reactions to morels. Not much you can do about that. 
And also it's not advisable to drink alcohol or a lot of alcohol when you're eating morels. So yeah, uh, definitely gonna wait a couple weeks and then come back and it should be probably in full swing. Whenever you have this kind of late start to the season, usually means that once it gets going, it'll progress quite quickly. And if it gets hot and dry really fast, it can mean that it'll end really quickly as well. But there's still a good bit of snow at higher elevation. We're at about 3,000 here right now. Uh, but above like 3,500, there's small patches in the shade. And above 4,500, there's still a good bit of snow. So yeah, nice day nonetheless. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.